Hi everyone, this is Sierra here at Art and Affirmations by Sierra. I'm bringing you an art journal spread in my little Create More handmade journal um, and working on the right side of the page here in the new signature. I really liked the, the background already. It was from a jelly print that I did. And then I put some stitching on it. It's kind of hard to tell in the in the um, the frame, but before I put my signatures in, I did a lot of stitching on my sewing machine um, on the pages. So I wanted to create a, a scrap belly band um, for a little tuck spot. So I just took a piece of scrap paper and then I'm just gluing down little bits of um, scraps and kind of the same color families as what the background is um, so that is the process that I'm going through now uh, I am going to take this to the sewing machine to put a stitch down the middle just to add a little extra I really love adding stitching to my journal pages um, and I love making these I call them scrap strips um, that you can use on the edge of a page or as belly bands, um, just little decorative spots. Uh, so if you have a bunch of scraps and you're not sure what to do with them, make some scrap strips. So this is the finished little scrap strip. Um, I just put <laughs> a fun stitch down the middle. I used the same thread that I used in the background of the journal page. Again, it's kind of hard to see because it's a, a different um, stitch. Just using some craft glue to put a, on the little bit on the edges there and just putting it down the middle of the page. So when I attached, I looked back and I was, gosh, I really just like it just how it is. But I went to my little words. I like to cut out um, words and sentiments and affirmations and, and quotes and all that stuff. Um, and I use like these, most of these are just out of a magazine. And so I'm just sifting through, finding the words that kind of speak to me in that um, moment. And they were the words renew and create. And so I cut those out and applied them um, to this strip. So I wanted to pick up on some of the pinks that were in there. So I made um, just a cardstock cut off camera um, to the size that I wanted. And now I'm just going to do some collage on the, the tag um, that I'm going to tuck in there. Using a lot of the seam um, papers that I used when I made the scrap tag. Uh, again, just using Mod Podge to get them um, down on the page. This particular paper is actually the inside of an envelope that comes in the mail. And I like to keep those because they add a lot of, um, I like all the designs, the different designs, and they're good for collage making.
So I had planned on using this butterfly that I cut um, out as the focal point on this little tag that I was going to insert into the belly band, um, as you see here. And then um, I, I cut out another one um, just to see what that would have looked like. Um, and then you can see which one I decided to go with um, here in this next frame. So I went ahead and flipped over and left the backside blank for a little journal spot and you'll see me here putting down my little um, sentiment, little reminder um, in my journal. So that's my completed page. Um, thank you for stopping by. I hope you got some inspiration and some ideas for something to do with some of those scraps and we'll see you next time.